Hello and welcome to another DSpace Learning Bits. I'm your host, Mike Neumeyer, and today we talk about the exciting topic of unattended installation. Today I'm speaking with Patrick Eisenhut, Installation Group Manager at DSpace. Hi, Patrick, and welcome to DSpace Learning Bits. Hi, Mike. Thank you for having me. So the topic today is unattended installation. And I'm curious, along with some of our viewers, what that really is and why is this important? Well, we all know about installation from our home usage, uh, especially on Windows. It means you need to click through some dialogues, select the path where you want to install it, uh, select other settings, accept some license agreements, and so on. So you need to click through a bit uh, through this dialogue, which is tedious, but not really hard to do. Uh, for your home use, because usually you want to install one product on one system um, and it stays that way, so it's relatively stable, um, easy enough. Companies have a different challenge. They want to uh, install not just on one system, but on multiple systems, um, maybe hundreds to thousands, and it's not stable. They need to set up multiple times a day a new system. But it doesn't stop here. Um, it's not just one product they want to install. They want to install multiple products. So multiple products and a lot of times with a specific version because there might be compatibility issues between them. Or there are some security concerns regarding newer, newer updates or something like that. So a specific version, we call it a configuration and you want to install it on multiple systems. If you do it manually, you need multiple people who do this um, a lot of times, um, which can cost quite a bit of time. And not only one configuration is part of, it, of, of this, but a lot of configurations um, because you have different types of systems. You have developer workstations or test systems um, that need different types of configuration because, for example, the test system needs to be stable. You don't always want to have the newest patches on, on test systems and uh, it needs to be reproducible. So it's the same configuration on every test system so you can compare the, the test results. The, the challenge um, you have uh, as a company and um, it, like I said, if you do it manually, clicking through these dialogues with a lot of people multiple times a day, it costs money and if we're in the in, in this complex scenario, frankly, it's almost impossible to do it without errors. Someone clicks some step through the dialogue and it doesn't know or chooses the wrong version or something like this. Thanks, Patrick, for that explanation. So this is the point where unattended installation comes in? Right. Unattended installation basically means we automate this uh, step clicking through the dialogue, if you want to say it like this. So no human interaction as far as po possible. Um, you give the user a script, it installates, uh, installs all the configuration, um, and at the end he has a finished system he just can use. He doesn't need to know anything about the, the specific versions or what's part of the configuration. He just needs to to start the process and the rest goes automatically. Um, and you can automate it even further um, if you want to, to manage the complexity. You use something like packet managers we know from Linux with AppGet um, for decades. Um, for Windows, there is uh, Chocolatey, the industry standard, um, and recently WinGet from, from Microsoft themselves. Um, and of course, you can um, incorporate your infrastructure automation with virtual machines um, where you set up the system automatically so you don't even need the user to start the script. And this is automated as well. Very interesting. Does DSpace support unattended installation like you've shown us today? Of course. Um, all DSpace setups can be automated. Uh, we have uh, multiple examples available you can get from us and we want to provide even more complex examples in the future on, on, our, on our website. And it's highly customizable if you want to take a deep dive. Uh, every setup um, has a, a documentation um, for you to, 
to take a really deep look into what what you can can customize yourself. And we know that we work well together with packet managers like Chocolatey um, because we have successful implementations. On the one hand, we use it ourselves for uh, deploying our test environments. But also, I recently had a customer who uses it to fully automate the installation process with Azure virtual machines and physical PCs as well. So we know it's working um, and that you can, can use it with us. And of course, we want to constantly improve ourselves. Um, just recently, in the last release 22B, um, we got the ability to provide update notifications. and here as well to help you in your complex environments um, it's highly customizable you can get the global information about patches from us from the dspace website or you can manage it yourself um, to get exactly um, the configuration you need and only provide updates for those configurations uh, if you want to provide new patches in in those cases and of course, we want to improve that as well. Um, so we have planned to add auto updates in the future. Awesome. Thank you, Patrick, for speaking with me today and answering some important questions on this topic. For all of you watching, please feel free to visit our website at www.dspace.com and submit any questions or topics that interest you. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you as well. DSpace, your partner in simulation and validation.